Unlike my other unlock videos, this guide assumes you're working with no previous saves. Timestamps will be on screen, in the video description, pinned comment, and the chapter system for your convenience. Unfortunate accident. You'll need scissors in your run to get a wooden bat from the lockers at the start of the mystery. Then, you need a town mystery and fight the apartment stalker in the apartment's location. After winning that fight, you'll get the baseball bat and unlock the achievement. Make sure they're both in your inventory just for the game to check. You could also just make a custom character and give yourself both of those bats, but where's the fun in that? An extra note, you don't have to survive the run unless an achievement explicitly asks you to win or survive or something like that. Either way, you'll get the achievement and unlock Yumiko as a new character to play as. Spore Infection. Punch out the Kinoko Gatherer found in the forest location. You don't need to use the kick action exclusively, but it's more than doable on cultist difficulty. Just make sure you have at least 8 to 10 stamina and reason going into the fight to survive comfortably. And probably do it in the first mystery. Doing all of this will get you the achievement and the fungal growth curse status effect. Intrusive Thoughts. Forget 5 spells. Enable library, learn a spell, forget, and repeat that five times. Once you've done this, the achievement should be achieved and you'll unlock the Protective Carvings spell. Insatiable Lust. I'll teach you the handcuffs method if you can do it, but I can also give you another non-handcuff way as well in the next section. If you are using the handcuffs method, launch a sequence that will allow you to do enough damage to bring the enemy to 12 HP or below. Then, before you get hit, use the handcuffs by clicking on the item and then using it. Yeah, it's kind of fast, but that's how you have to do it. This will get you the achievement and the Blood Frenzy Curse status effect. Otherwise, the no handcuff method is, well, me recommending the following if you're not doing so. Play as Aiko with the Dotu enabled. Buy a shovel from the hardware store. Find the obsessed man in the downtown area during the first mystery. Do the prepare action to a strong attack and he should go down in one turn. By the way, the reason why I ask you to do some of these in the first mystery is that there is HP scaling on mystery, so after the first mystery, you might not be able to one-shot the obsessed man anymore. There are other ways you can do this achievement, but this is the quick 1-2-3 method for simplicity's sake. You'll still get the achievement and the Blood Frenzy Curse status effect. The rest of the 1.0 exclusive achievements are self-explanatory. You just need 7 successful runs and one more with Yumiko, a new character. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. After all of this, and once you unlock all the achievements, you'll get the last achievement, Dude, and one more character. So that's it for this video. If you want to support me long term, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, well, I'll be doing World of War videos, so wait for that. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!